today from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. It's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Time to see this Bengals offense here as they get set for their first drive. And under center, of course, is the number one pick in the 2020 draft now in year number two, Joe Burrow. And what a rookie season he had indeed. A knee injury knocked him out in week 11 at Washington. And while the Bengals only won two of his 10 starts, I think everyone around the league and anyone who watched the NFL came away in class. 13 touchdowns, just five interceptions, nearly 270 yards a game passing, the third most by a rookie in NFL history. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10, rolling to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals on just two plays have taken the lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Now we get a look at Aaron Rodgers as he gets set to lead this Green Bay Packer offense. Rodgers now in his 17th season in the league, and of course, coming off the MVP trophy. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. We can't have that. Elton Jenkins, the pro bowler, flag there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And all oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. Rodgers now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. To throw again on second down. Rodgers dancing to his left. Rodgers sliding to his stop with a first down. 
Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He's going to wind up and air it out. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon. His first touchdown on the year. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Bengals drive about to get going, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On the move to his left. And a nice spin into some open field. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. They will throw on first down with Burrow, being chased out left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And this is taken in at the five. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. A big play there for Cincinnati. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll give it to Mixon. Right now. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drive, four plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He hits his target, left side, Watson. The completion there for the reigning MVP. And Charles, even though he's slip sliding towards 40, it is certainly a tough task to ask a defense to stop Aaron Rodgers. But what can they at least try to do to slow him down? I think for him, is take advantage of the few opportunities he gives you. He's not going to throw very many interceptions. So if you get a chance to get your hands on the ball, you better take it. But if you can get him off the field on third down, that is a huge one. Be able to blank every receiver, knock the ball free, but get off the field because the longer that drive goes, he's going to put it in the end zone.
first down, Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second and ten, Rodgers, he finds his man complete. That's Watson. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Try and run for it with Jones. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Rodgers throw into the hands of Cobb. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. To throw, it's Rodgers. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Burrow looking to pass, eluding the pressure right. And he will find his man chase complete. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. <laughs> he coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Burrow will throw. Now he'll throw deep left side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. A drive there of just four plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now Rod. 
Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Now a first down carry by Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second and a couple. Rodgers caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals will take over here just shy of the 30. And Charles, you know, it seems like sometimes when you fall down early, there can be a tendency there to try and get it all back in one fell swoop. And that time, that thinking leads to an interception. And I believe you brought up a really good point there, Brandon, because you try and force plays, right? You try and get all back in one shot, just as you mentioned there. And you know you're going to need some big plays to get back into the game. But ultimately, you really can't force what isn't there. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Now it's Burrow, out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run, deep left side. And that is incomplete, nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. He'll air this one out for Boyd. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. We'll start up in the Steel City, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And they are nearing halftime with the Steelers out in front. The first running back drafted this year, Najee Harris, with two touchdowns there. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Dalvin Cook with two touchdowns there. Lastly, let's check in on our nation's capital to see what's happening with the Washington football team at home at FedEx Field. And that one all tied against the visiting Saints. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. 
And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least, that went out of bounds. You're exactly right, and as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Rodgers now to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Now Rodgers. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 40. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And this is caught. Touchdown. Robert Tunyon with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Rosas now to add the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Sliding out of the pocket. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Forced out to his left. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Now after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And he's taken in by Hurst. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. And he got blown up, losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the 44-yard line. 
throwing again on second down. Burrow buying time to his left. Throw left side complete to Chase. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And Jamar Chase won the 2019 Belindikoff Award as the nation's top receiver at Rowland LSU. And the guy who threw him the passes there, Joe Burrow, now is quarterback at Cincinnati. He's going to let this go. Back in the end zone. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Hayden Hurst, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Bengals score. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Takes it at the seventh. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? There's a ball thrown right side and complete, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Gavin yeah, Guy has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, it's Jones. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 27-yard line. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 27. Now it's Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers got his man complete over the middle. It's Watson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll go again to Jones. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. 
is interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they've bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. The Packers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and two. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. It could have been his second, but instead it's fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first, and the Bengals will get the football back. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that one that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Heavy set out there on third and one. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Keep going, keep going. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Yeah, yeah, we go. Hayden Hurst, 82 yards. And the Bengals are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. McPherson now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Rodgers. Jones has it. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. He finds his man complete. That's Watson. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Open man, here is Cobb. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And now they're in the hurry up. 
To throw again on second down. Rodgers for the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. To throw is Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Second down and goal. Rodgers toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field. And it's a Packers touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Packers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. And this is going to be recovered by the Bengals' hands team. And they're going to hang on and win this game. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe it. And this is caught. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Here's a run with Mixon, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon taking it in from two yards out, and the Bengals are closing in on a 4-1 start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He finds Watson, it's caught. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. One final try now for Rodgers. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Bengals, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. and one, And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year.